Bienvenue à l'église Théophile d'Atlanta. Nous savons que Dieu travaille en tout pour le bien de ceux qui l'aiment, de ceux qu'il a appelés selon son plan. Nous avons la certitude que rien ne peut nous séparer de l'amour de Dieu, ni la mort, ni la vie, ni les anges, ni d'autres autorités ou puissances célestes, ni le présent, ni l'avenir, ni les forces d'en haut, ni les forces d'en bas, ni d'aucune autre chose créée. Rien ne pourra jamais nous séparer de l'amour que Dieu nous a manifesté en Jésus-Christ, notre Seigneur. Le Seigneur, dans sa volonté souveraine et sa sagesse insondable, a jugé bon de mettre un terme à la carrière existentielle de notre bien-aimée sœur, Stéphana Zéphir. Nous sommes réunis aujourd'hui autour du cercueil contenant sa dépouille mortelle pour remercier le Seigneur pour sa vie, son témoignage et ses œuvres. Elle est allée rejoindre son maître après avoir vécu dans la foi et l'espérance de la vie éternelle. Après s'être acquittée de la mission à laquelle elle était destinée. En cette pénible et douloureuse circonstance, l'Église théophile, les membres de dévoués, les leaders, les pasteurs, nous compatissons à la douleur et à l'affliction des parents et alliés et amis. Nous leur présentons nos profondes sympathies chrétiennes. Que le Seigneur vous console. Mes sincères condoléances à vous tous. Avec nous, c'est Rachel Lisson pour le service. Good morning. We praise the Lord for the life of our sister. And we are here, yes, to pay final respect to comfort the family most of all and to thank God for the days that she had he had given her on this life in this life dit te béni nous toutes par sa présence dit te béni nous toutes le nous connaît et je dis on a béni le bon dieu parce qu'il te fait nos cadeaux notre sœur pour une période de temps et la première sélection que nous allons entonner c'est nous voguons vers un beau rivage que Jésus nous prépare. The, the English is so beautiful. It says, We are out on the ocean sailing. Homeward bound, we sweetly glide. We are out on the ocean to a home beyond the tide. All the storms will soon be over. Yes, then we will anchor in the harbor. We are out on the ocean, sailing to a home beyond the tide. Millions have already landed there, and millions more are on their way. So she landed, we're on our way. Let us sing together. Nouveau convers, un beau rivage.
Alléluia! Alléluia! Amen! Alléluia! Et au nom de la famille Joseph, nous présentons ces parties nous à la famille Zéphir. Et donc là, nous gagnons nous un héros, pour l'an qui est dans le ciel, là, mais nous gagnons une héroïne qui est dans le ciel là, actuellement. Amen! Donc c'est à nous maintenant pour nous préparer nous. Si toutefois nous voulons aller au ciel là. Amen. Donc là que nous demandons l'assemblée à nous camper, nous pour aller à ces prières nous. Donc là, et prière d'introduction pour la cérémonie. Seigneur, nous bénissons. Parce que nous apprenons nous pour nous bénir dans toutes circonstances. Ni un bon jour, ni un mauvais jour. Matin, ce n'est pas un mauvais jour pour l'église. Parce que nous tous appelés, soit par la résurrection ou par la transmutation, pour nous rencontrer là-haut. Et nous avons nous des signes avant-coureurs qui, qui ont pu venir avant le moment de arrivé. Et alors nous voyons. Et si ça fait nous réaliser une précipitation des événements saillants en ces derniers jours, en ces derniers temps, qui presque chaque semaine, nous avons des bien-aimés qui ont voyagé pour l'éternité. Donc, maintenant, nous, même lorsque, humainement parlant, nous sommes à cause maintenant des pas bien-aimés, nous, maintenant que nous avons joie, nous avons joie débordante, parce que nous avons une espérance vivante. Seigneur, que vous t'avez dit Marie avait mort à la mort de Lazare. Vous ne pouvez pas même, même si vous mourrez à vivre. Et c'est espérance ça que nous gagnons. Et vous apprenez nous que la vraie vie commence après la mort. C'est peut-être ça, Seigneur, matin, nous réunis là pour nous, ensemble, pour nous réellement et présenter, pour nous encourager, famille. Pas seulement famille de la chair, mais famille spirituelle, 
pour nous encourager ensemble, pour nous faire une célébration. Et chaque ça que nous avons fait, nous avons besoin d'inspiration dans nous. Car aussi ça fait nous promettre nous, pour dire que là où deux ou trois assemblés dans nous, ou là avec eux pour bénir et pour sanctifier Donc vous connaissez que présence est important. Et c'est ça fait que nous faisons appel à nous même après nous chanter ce beau cantique. Nous voguons vers un beau rivage que Jésus nous prépara. Donc maintenant, nous adresser cette prière à nous-mêmes pour take over la cérémonie et à faire pour bailler toute inspiration nécessaire dans sa parfaite. Ça, ça va faire pour gloire, non, et aussi pour notre bénéfice spirituel. C'est pour ça que nous prions. Nous demandons toute grâce ça, au nom de Jésus qui vit et qui règne au siècle des siècles. Amen. Notre prière au ciel, que ton nom soit sanctifié. Que ton rêve vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de chaque jour. Pardonne nos offenses, comme aussi nous pardonnons à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne dû pas succomber à la tentation, mais Seigneur délivre du mal, car c'est à toi seul qu'appartiennent le règne, la puissance et la gloire au siècle des siècles. Amen. Ok, maintenant, asseyez-vous. Nous demandons à l'Assemblée de rester debout pour la lecture de la parole de Dieu. Nous allons trouver la lecture de la parole de Dieu dans 1 Thessaloniciens, chapitre 4, du verset 13 à 18. Nous ne voulons pas, frères, que vous soyez dans l'ignorance au sujet de ceux qui dorment, afin que vous ne affligez pas comme les autres qui n'ont point d'espérance. Car nous, si nous croyons que Jésus est mort, qu'il est ressuscité, croyons aussi qu'il ramènera par Jésus et avec lui ceux qui sont morts. Voici, en effet, ce que nous déclarons d'après la parole du Seigneur. Nous les vivants restés pour l'avènement du Seigneur, nous ne devancerons pas ceux qui sont morts. Car le Seigneur lui-même a un signal donné à la voix de Nacan au son de la trompette de Dieu, descendra du ciel, et les morts en Christ ressusciteront premièrement. Ensuite, nous les vivants qui seront restés, nous serons tous ensemble enlevés avec eux sur des nuées à la rencontre du Seigneur dans les airs. Et ainsi, nous serons toujours avec le Seigneur. Consolez-vous donc les uns les autres par ces paroles pour vous asseoir. Que un jour là devant présence face mon Dieu. And I could remember her, her beautiful walk. If you have this hope, you need, you need to, to live it and live like it. Oh, quel beau jour au devant ta face. Tout est racheté, apparaîtront. En célébrant ta gloire et ta grâce, de leur chant, les cieux retentiront. Oh, quel beau jour où devant ta face Tout est racheté de la célèbre ta gloire et ta grâce De la chair, les cieux quand ils chantant Nombreux comme eux
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, we will gather at that river. We will gather at that shore. And we will be so many. Nobody can count. Nobody will be able to count. Yes, it will be an unfinished and unfinished number. Praise the Lord. And she is already there. Thank you. You may be seated. And we will have uh, Reverend Tufe. Brother uh, Sven, um, we call it. Jeremiah 17, verse 9 to 10. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Lord search the heart. I try the rent even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. My beloved in Jesus Christ, I read these verses for you not only to deliver a brief eulogy of my sister, the widow Stefana Zephyr, but also to remind you that our heart is not to be trusted. It follows its own path and desires. Our Lord and Savior know the heart and our temptation. He alone can come and change our hearts. He alone can guide us to the light where we can feast with him above. My prayers companions and I prayed constantly for Stefana. In the midst of August, from Connecticut to Georgia, I travel especially to visit my sister and to pray with her. Into my heart, in my thought, and according to my faith in Jesus Christ, I always believed she would have recuperated. But, but God knows what is better. So his will be done. Dearly beloved, I want to remind you, God's response to our prayers is immediate and leave no room for interpretation. God responds three ways. Yes, no, wait. The widow Stefana Zephyr was born on July 5th. 1948, married on March 4th, 1971. She was the unique girl in the family. From childhood to teenager years, my father and my mother guide her to church and she always enjoy youth activities. From teenager years to adulthood, she become a devoted woman of faith in Jesus Christ, participating regularly in religious activities. The different pastor Roland Zephyr met her at a Benazir church of Jacquel, Haiti. They were married, having five children. She was a hardworking woman, working always two jobs to care for the family. 
the intimate relationship between the husband and her was incredible. She, all, she always assumes that when she comes home from work, she will be there to do things, to cook for the husband and the children. She seems to think it's her role in life to be wherever the husband want her to be, to do whatever meaner things he need done. Sifana was a loving servant of God, loving of her family and friends. After the tragic death of her daughter, Rekabi Zephyr, and the death of the husband, she became completely disoriented. From time to time, things move from bad to worse until she passes away. Therefore, the intimate relationship between the husband and her, the tragic death of the daughter, the death of the husband, offer a powerful illustration that may explain the burden, the confusion, the stress, the hurt, the worry, the anger, the pain, the frustration that she carried alone. Dear beloved, dearly beloved, remember, we cannot carry the burdens alone. We love to talk, and rightly so, about all that God does for us in Christ, and how we cannot save ourselves and the like. All that, all that is true, but in the end, we still have to make the conscious choice to come to Jesus, which means surrender to him. He is where the reality of free will become front and center in the Christian life. Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I repeat. Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Dearly beloved, come to Jesus and load the burdens unto him. For Jesus has the ability to give rest based on his divinity, on his oneness of the Father. God bless you. Bon Dieu bénis nous et voulez dédier chanson que me parle chanter à à la famille Zéphir et plus précisément à Pasteur Aquilas Zéphir.
When my sister passed um, in 2011, uh, I was upset. I was mad at God um, at that time because I kept saying to myself, God, I know you could have prevented this. I, I just don't understand why you didn't. Um, so, I, so I had a really, really rough time. Um, I remember 2016. Le Papa Mui. So, 2016, I'm fashé encore. Because I'm thinking, God, I mean, you control the, the entire universe. I asked you for, um, I asked you for a favor back when it was sister, and it's as if you didn't hear me. So now, here comes dad. He took dad away again. So I was um, I was having a pretty rough time again um, around that time because I, I know I was pleading, I was praying to God, asking God, hey, just give me a little bit more time, you know. Give me a little more, more time with sister. Give me a little bit more time with dad. But, you know, that's that's just the way it happened. And then, so now, um, so now it's mom. So by now, I've um, really had time to reflect and really think about everything. And um, so it's not that I haven't had my talk with God. I have. But but now, I think I'm at a place where God is just asking me to trust him more and, and rely on him. So not that I'm not hurt or I'm not going to deeply miss mom, but I just feel like now, um, I'm able to be more grateful in my heart for all the days and uh, all the moments I had with with mom. So, um, so I truly thank God this morning for this for this peace that is placed in my heart. So, um, so I just thank. <laughs> yes. So I just um, want to say thank you, Lord, for for this amazing mommy that that you had blessed me with for 48 years. I'm just very grateful I had uh, a chance to just have her in my life for 48 years. So today I'd really like to share with you some, some simple things that I feel like mommy left with me. Um, so the first one is she truly was a praying woman. So as a young woman, as she shared with us, she, she fervently prayed to the Lord and she used to she used to tell tell us how she pray how she prayed that passionately and she would say you know god if you're gonna bless me with children just they have to serve you they have to worship you if they're not going to, just just let me be barren. Don't give me any kids at all. And that was her prayer since her youth. And and I can still remember that today. Because so so here I am, you know, I'm growing up in the house and watching mommy and daddy pray, because they used to pray constantly. So you can be walking by their bedroom, they're kneeling down, both of them, you know, they're praying, they're praying for us, you know, dear God, you know. Bon Dieu, mes amis, mes petits nous dans mon, mes petits nous devant. Nous prions pour vous, menez vous, menez vous, pied la croix, pour vous servir vous. Parce que vous songez depuis l'homme de petit, ma prière vous. Pas bon petit, si vous ne pouvez pas servir vous. Si vous connaissez les jeunes garçons, nous pouvons courir réellement. L'évangile là pour qu'on s'inquiète. Donc, nous, we didn't, we didn't really get it yet. So, 
I'm walking by the bedroom and I'm looking, I'm like, why, why is mommy wasting her time? You know, but she's there, you know, fervently praying, 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 and that God would give us guidance and, 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 and I didn't really understand it, but, you know, but God, God had a different plan. God knew exactly what mommy was doing. So over time, I eventually surrendered and um, gave my life to Christ uh, in the summer of 1998. And I was 25 at the time. And it was right here in Tailfield. And this is where I got baptized and everything. So, so, um, so this forever changed my life. Okay. And after I got married, of course, now started having children. And guess what I started doing? So now I started praying for them, you know. So today, I still continue to pray for them, begging God to, in, to intervene in their lives, you know. So today, this is one thing I want to say thank you to mommy for just showing me the way. So the second one is she always cared about unity in the family. So one, one thing you must know about mommy is that she grew up with eight brothers. So she was the only girl. And there was really nothing weak about mommy because she was always strong. And sometimes when I'm looking back, she was a little bit too strong in her ways for daddy. Because uh, daddy, if some of you didn't know, he was the only child in his family. So you can imagine. Um, but regardless, I think they, they complimented each other very well because mommy was always firm. And um, she taught us to always be there for each other and have each other's back. So, bien que dans l'Ukraine qui a changé, papa, là que lui vient dans l'église, il me contente en pile, en pile compliment pour lui. Il dit, oh papa, papa c'est tellement sage, parce que son équipe humble, lui, lui réellement, you know, they always had all these great compliments. But you'll pas, you'll pas comprendre, c'est que c'est mon ami, le mon ami Lakai, c'est mon ami qui a sharpened Monsieur. You know, she was always there just like shaping him and molding him. So, of course, sometimes, you know, he, yeah, he, but by the time leaving on l'église là, monsieur soit. <laughs> so, so, so we always have mommy to thank for that. <laughs> so, so she, and she always instilled confidence in us. And, and I know any time when there was any, any conflict among her children, you know, she, she, she was deeply grieved whenever that happened because she always wanted to see us stick together no matter what. So she told you the truth and sometimes, you know, it may hurt a little bit, but she was, she was very direct. And, um, but to her, what she was doing is she was motivating you to be better. Parce que ça le déconduit, c'est que Lydie, c'est pour motiver C'est pour me dire parole qui pour entrer dans sentiment pour faire penser pour qu'à faire ça qui bien. So she had uh, a really good purpose in 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 what she was doing. So to her, she was inspiring you to rise above pettiness and focus on the things that really matter. So today, I focus on doing whatever de depends on me to keep you need in the family. So that, that also, I, I thank you, Mom, for helping me to rise above pettiness and just be better. So the third one is, um, Mommy always did whatever she could to take care of her family. So as you heard earlier, she did two jobs, and she worked 16 hours plus um, many days. And even during those long days, I never remember her. Um, complaining or or saying she 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 just wanna you know take take some time to just lay back and and relax um, that was never there and on top of that during those long days um, she would have cooked food a, you know as far as I can think back in Basanje cheeseburger fries by Zayo it was always you know cooked food in the house so she was always there for us she was a fighter. And she fought for us at every turn. And she was determined and resilient. And she truly exemplified the value of hard work and care for family. So 
I thank you, Mommy, for trusting God as he gave you the strength to do whatever it took. Okay? So as I close, um, I remember not long after I got married, uh, my wife asked me, why don't, you, why don't you tell me you love me? So I was kind of perplexed, and I'm like, wait a minute. You know, I live with you. I have, we have kids. We're married. We have kids together. Like, what you mean? So she was like, well, you don't say it. And I'm like, well, you already know I do. So, um, but she told me, well, yes, but you have to say it too. So I'm trying to think. I'm like, well, um, when I was growing up, so I told her when I was growing up, like, I don't remember. We never said, you know, I, I love you. Um, that wasn't something that was, that was normal. So I'm not used to it. So I, was, so I was telling my wife, well, you know what? I'll try to remember. I'll do my best to say it as often as I can. Now, I remember sometime later, one of our siblings, I don't remember how the, how the question came up, but somebody asked my mom, well, why, why, why you never told, told us you love us? And she said, well, you know, I, oh, Nelly, growing up, you know, we weren't really accustomed to saying it, but, but that doesn't mean we don't, we don't love you. Um, because with mommy, you know, her, her action, that was how she, she showed love. She just, she just did whatever she could. She took care of you, and, and that's how she expressed love. So but one thing I noticed at that time, she, she looked like she was kind of hurt by that question because she always gave her all and, um, for her family. So because I remember she never really took any vacations as we were growing up and because she was always working to make sure we were good. So, but, I, but it looks to me like that really bothered her. So I remember not, not long after that conversation, um, I got a call from mommy. And as we got closer at the end of the phone conversation, and out of the blue, I mean, no special occasion, uh, because I remember um, back, let's say if there was some type of special occasion, you would hear, you know, new and many, but it wasn't, it wasn't frequent. But as I got off the call, she said, I love you, son. And I think I was probably in my 40s. Uh, and I had I'd never heard it from her before. So I was, it was kind of awkward. And I was surprised and touched at the same time. Uh, it just sounded strange. Um, but for me, I, I never really needed to hear those words because I know she always cared. Um, but today, but I remember when she told me that I told her, you know, I love you too, mommy. Um, but for me, she was, as I'm thinking about everything, for me, she was, she was always good enough. Um, I didn't feel like I lacked anything uh, with my mom. So my only regret today is that I didn't get a chance to, like, I wanted to spend more time with her. Um, and I'm just not going to have that. But, you know, God is in control. And uh, we'll make the best of it from moving forward. So I love you, Mommy. I'm tired of wow. Capti, moi prends courage. Ou levé moi, retire m'na poussière. Ou fait m'rivé, côté m'pat espéré. Avec où? Ah, 
Kabeku Ayeba Epo Si Ulevi Mwe Kashi Mwe Na U Ulevi Nu Retire Na Pushye Ou Fen Rive Kote Yo nous ne pouvons pas arriver, mais nous connaissons avec vous. Un n'est pas impossible, ou c'est bon Dieu, ou c'est bon Dieu, ou c'est bon Dieu. Où c'est bon Dieu, c'est vous-même qui rayez. Où c'est bon Dieu, c'est vous-même qui ouais moi. Où c'est bon Dieu, où qu'est quand toi la vie. Où c'est bon Dieu, où a toujours là où c'est bon Dieu. Moi dis merci parce que c'est bon Dieu. Où c'est Alpha, où c'est Omega. I guess I was a little confused here with the timing. Um, the song that I was asked to play was changed by the Holy Spirit because 25 years ago, I played a song right here on this church, my church. For those of you who doesn't recognize me, I am Brother Ernie. I was born here as a Christian, and I'm still is, thanks God. Um, I play that song, and she said, Petit moi, vous connaissez chanter un pire mon de la Jodien, parce que c'est comme ça, m'dans mes vivres, m'dans mes semblables à Jésus, c'est ça qui désire moi. So then I decided I'm gonna play her favorite song for her. And um, now that she's going, it's all good. But I hope that us who are still living can have the same desire to look like Jesus. You know, when you wanna look like Jesus, everything is good. When you want to act like Jesus, everything is perfect. When you want to be like Jesus, everything is great.
Haswa ete ou papa ton bel parol non men jodi si e bel parol ou tan ou ap desi ou ap deranje et peut-être excusez-moi ou te met tout de moi de te mende a se jodi a mwen mem gon koze personnel à moi son bagage ou pas ka comprendre maman ki la gon yam santi gon yam santi gon yam santi ba konta gon ti Et comme ça déjà on compte l'eau et bon dieu mais je dis on parle pour l'eau et bon dieu maman ça maman ça maman ça et moi con et moi con Bon Dieu qu'a accepté. Et votre sang bien pour me dire aujourd'hui, peut-être ou pas capable. Mais <coughs> Maman m'était quand dit un petit peu messe de la Bible. Enfant, honore ton père et ta mère. va vivre longtemps et heureux sur la terre. Moi de côté pour mes ça. Maman m'honore maman. Maman m'honore papa. Maman me take petite lui. Maman me fait tout ça pour le faire. Vive longtemps et heureux sur la terre. Vive longtemps et heureux sur terre. Maman m'a pas de coucher là. Il y a un problème à mon Dieu. Très bien, je me moi, excusez-moi. Pour mes cela, pour mes cela, il faut l'accomplir. Moi même pour moi, il pas accompli. M'a dit pour, excusez, m'a dit pour. Vive longtemps et heureux sur la terre. Mon maman peut qu'on gain 100 ans, peut qu'on gain 80 ans. Mon maman t'est de là. Pour le petit lit, petit petit lit yo. Pour me take care lit back pour tout ça le fait pour moi pour tout ça pour 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 garder m'a garder zo même en même on après mon travail dit comme ça m'a pas faut comprendre mais moi même je dis à m'a pas camp m'a pas content je dis à m'a pas cap pomper louer Il y a des gens qui connaissent. Si je suis campé pour me louer, je vais me louer. Mais je dis, il n'y a pas juste à lire pour moi. Bon Dieu, quand les gens qui ont des sentiments, quand ils ont des sentiments, ils ne sont pas occupés. Et moi, même tout, et à deux, je ne suis pas prié pour nous déjà. Là, il dit, si je ne peux pas ton faire penser de moi, moi même, toujours. Gon, m'a toujours cross à bon Dieu que n'importe Jean m'a toujours cross à bon Dieu parce que moi-même maman m'a déjà appuyé il t'a déjà dit petite l'pap faite si c'est pour le grandir en Satan à 
I got a beef with God today. Pas content à sa bon Dieu qui t'est fait. Ça pas doué fait, maman pas de coucher là. Il t'est doué vivant et en santé. Ça c'est sentiment. Ça c'est ça c'est ça c'est ça c'est, ça, c'est, ça, c'est opinion. Bon Dieu fait ça le vle. Bagain choix. Faut m'accepter. Mais pas dit pour me content. Pas dit mais ça là. Pas dit moi. Ça comprend pas ça yo. Yo dia Il n'y a pas bon jour comme ça, comme ça. Non sens pour un monde. Ok, son funérail pour Tris. Oui, c'est, c'est ton bon sœur. Il est arrivé, bon Dieu, prend le passé. C'est un big deal. Il n'y a pas de big deal, mais non sens, c'est un big deal. sentiment moi même c'est différent hein? <laughs> c'est différent oui j'en sais et n'en pense moi même c'est différent oui j'en me senti non c'est différent oui <laughs> sans me pour me lâche au dia pour ces derniers jours Pour ma maman a vivant sous terre ça déjà maman peut quand même gain 75 ans oh, donc cause mes amis donc cause mes amis pas la pas de j'en passer comme ça non il pas de deux passer comme ça non Les appointements, yo. Let down, yo. Je dis qu'on est, yo. Qu'on s'en m'a dit, yo. Le papa m'a chassé, m'a raboté. M'a chassé, m'a comprendre. M'a chassé, m'a comprendre. Excusez mon seuil de offense. Papa m paste ou lanze fi li passe wot pou mwen ou le ti chan pa ka chante kounya pou ko jam gen moun ki pran desisyon pou servi bon dje pou yo sorti wot maman m paste nan le gareman papa m paste nan le gareman oui Dim loue bon Dieu ou dia ou pa ka konprann pou ki sa mwen menm pa ka m pa ka bloue ou dia Oh Jesus pas Maman m'te konn ap prié Oh merci bon Dieu Yes ko pa ki tèm dans le garman Se Stefana Se kon sorte kon non se Zefi se kon sorte kon nèm Et ces filles, mes amis, si gen youn ki pouté la jodi a, sel, sel, sel sa, ces filles te gen plan pou rita e ment li. Se pou al vizite fami, al priye a moun, al igantan gen plan pou al fe, pou gade, al, 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 al mache dans les champs, En Haïti, dans mon taille, dans non 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 la caisse, à la caisse des des familles, mon qui n'a désolas ou bien mon qui qui ont plein, allez, ils gazellent, là ils font travail, mon Dieu, 
pour là. Regardez, mettre la vie. Côté plein désolation, côté monde. Pas de force, ou bien monde pas comprendre, il va gagner. Pas de comprendre, pas de comprendre. Comme si, comme si on me dit, hein, on me dit, hein, on va pas me faire une comprendre là. Parce que jour ça, pas de exister aujourd'hui. Hein. Bon, là, pour tout le monde mourir. Bon, là, pour mourir. Mais, mais, comment, comment, Come on, come on. Ah, ça y a un sens, ça y a un sens. Chant yo fait, ou dans des chants yo, ou dans des mots. Un sentiment lié. Ça va faire sens pour moi. Hein? Hum. Par contre, qui Jean? Je me suis allé. Je vis à Boston. Je suis allé à Et là, je me connais pour me capable pour me dire is mom available dis mom je ne vais pas parler avec lui et puis pour me donner pour me connaître je vais attendre de maman je vais parler à maman si je ne vais pas parler je ne vais pas parler qui ça a été pour moi Ou pas qu'on qui qui importance de te gagner dans le jour même. Maman, ça, c'est une qui te cher en pile pour moi. Pour qu'on ait chance pour m'apprécier, maman. Mais pour qui ça, elle va là. C'est pour un monde. Pour ta dos, qui dehors dans la société a des problèmes. Comme si je comme si m'a chassé, parce que parce que parce en bonne en bonne santé pour le tailler, ça c'est pas dans main, non, c'est dans main. Bon, si c'est servante, bon Dieu. Pas de monde qui rien, mais bon Dieu qui ça. Tout, tout, tout lit, so, comme ça, sur so, son monde, lui met chou que. Bon, ok. Tout, bon, on nous quitte ça. Excusez-moi. Besoin de toi, mais. Comme si je suis là, je cherche à comprendre. Parce que si je prie, je dis moi-même, non, je ne suis pas là. 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 Je ne pas là. Je ne suis 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 pas là. Je ne les malades pour le répondre ou obtenir de Dieu, ok, en faveur. Tout prier, 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 prier. Bon, tu as même dit, ah, mon cher, je connais, la pour tourner, la pour prendre, la venir. Bon, Dieu, fidèle.
የሰባት ፈር አሰ መልኩ ሸላ ፓብሎ ፈንሲ ፓብሊ ዲስ ሬይ ዲ ባጋይ ማ ማማም ሱተ ኮን ማማም ጀምተ ኮነ Lors elle rive en profondeur de prière. L'elle rive en profondeur de prière. Il dit grâce. Grâce miséricorde. Grâce miséricorde. Grâce miséricorde. Ça me ça me même. C'est ça me même. Mon Dieu, wap tande mna. C'est ça tout moi même a dit oui, grâce miséricorde. Grâce miséricorde. Pour qui ça? Pour qui ça ou lean on me like that God? You too heavy. Back up. That's too much for me. Pour qui ça? Je dis à ne besoin besoin de toi minute je dis excusez-moi c'est moi ma bol tale s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît deux mots pour ma maman si nous pas avler on pas bon Jodia Eh bien comme on eh, pas bien temps exprimer pour maman tellement et juste et eh, on pas capable encore faire ça me ta remet faire pour m'honorer parce qu'il pas là mais maman ça on capable de Si il y a un qui te mérite honneur, c'est lui-même. Si il y a un qui te mérite pour une place publique, pour faire connaître qui qualité, qui qualité de force que femme ça garder, te, te permettre. Ou, ou, ou expérimenter la comme si la douleur paraît il doit admit paraît présence lui seulement rempli ou non façon que c'est expérimenter pour expérimenter le comprendre jou fami et jou maman non c'est jou pour 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 nous exprimer ça pour nous pour nous exprimer pour maman non mais nous sentons que nous pas quitter m'exprimer bon m'accepter m'accepter mais en dernier mot ou même qui que maman toujours et bien créole par l'école comprendre um thank you comma i used to say I had like a list of questions that I'm going to ask God when I get to heaven. Um and one of them was I think as my oldest brother said it's like why you know did you permit my sister's death? You know, why did you permit my dad to leave? How come other people get to have their sisters? How come other people get to have their dads? 
and now how come other people get to keep their moms? But honestly, the other day I was thinking hard about that, and I said, when we get to heaven, will we really care about that? Not really, right? We'll have much bigger things in our mind. So I said, God, your will be done, right? Your will be done. God's bon dia avec nous. Amen. May the grace of God be with you. Well, I'm here. I won't be long. I didn't even think I could stand up here to say my few words, but I said, wait a minute. I have my three brothers talking about my mom raising boys. I have to let you know how she raised girls, and she did an excellent job. May I humbly say. <laughs> um, you know, my, my, my speech won't be long, but my mom... My sister and I would say, man, what is mom's formula to raising girls? Because if we can raise girls half as good as she did, we know we'll be successful moms. My mom was an extremely confident woman who was, as you can tell, tough, right? Eight boys, one girl, tough cookie. Um, she was extremely tough, very proud, distinguished classy, private, simple lady. I think I captured her in those, just those few words. And so when I thought about, I told my brothers, no, you guys talk. I was like, no, mom was strong and I can do this. I can tell you guys a little bit about my mom and how great of a mom she was to girls. My mom, the biggest thing I can tell you is that she would say, as a lady, you must have protocol. And I tell you, as a five-year-old, I'm like, I don't know what that means. Ten years old, I still didn't quite know it. But when I got to 18, I'm like, I think I get it, Mom. I see some of these 18-year-olds acting a fool over here. But I knew how to have protocol. When it came to the guy, when, by sh what she meant by protocol is like, have respect for yourself. Have some guidelines. Carry yourself like a lady. You know, I, you can go out in these streets, but you can't you know, go and say, Steph was doing this and Steph was doing that because I had protocol by myself. You can't talk about Stefana Colina Zifio because she had protocol about herself, you know, and she was a tough lady. And I'll tell you, even though her name became Stefana Col um, Zifio, if anything ever really went down and she was upset and she wanted you to know what she would do, she was like, eh, hey, eh, hey, gade, c'est Stefana Colina Moye, oui? Well, you know that, you better back up. Because that colonnette was going to come out. But she was a tough lady, and she taught me how to be a lady. And my mom was an extremely forgiving woman. I am not. <laughs> but as I hear celebrating her life, thinking about her, um, I would, and I would say, Mommy, how do you forgive so easily? If somebody hurts you, I'm like, oh, I forget you. I'm done with you. But she's like, if God could forgive me for all the sins that I've done, I can easily forgive them. And I said, all right, Mom, I'm going to try to embrace that. Um, what things do I want you to take away from my mom? I think she said that um, in terms of God, God was central to her life. She was a servant all around. And no matter what, no matter you how you come to God, no matter what you went through, if you come with a sincere heart, that's all you need. Don't worry about anything else. Just come with a sincere heart. So no matter how much I feel like I've messed up, no matter how much I feel like I haven't communicated with God enough, I'm not saying the right things, just come to him humbly with a sincere heart and it's going to be all right. She has blessed me and gave me a safety net. As Josh told you, she said, look, God, if my kids aren't good to serve you, I don't want any kids. So in a way, I've been riding that wave a little too easily. But um, I know that she has secured, she's done her job in securing the place. Now I got to do my job in securing that place, right? And, um, and I know she has just set this place for me, and I just got to secure that place. And I don't know. That's, I think that's all I wanted to tell you about my mom is that she was a great mom and that I'm going to miss her. And lastly, I'll just say, um, Josh talked about unity. And I feel really proud that this last leg, I think we pleased her. She was all about family. And all of us played a role. Josh was her financial guru. 
if you say, Mom, I, I need to get $50 to do this, she's like, uh-uh, did Josh approve that? You know what I'm saying? And if she ever really needed love, her Benjamin Aquilas, that was it. Akils was the affectionate love. He was going to show his mama some love. And whenever she finished talking to Kama on the phone, the biggest smile on her face, she would smile for days because, hey, did you know my son called me? Yeah, I know your son called you. And, you know, and I was her baby girl that was going to take care of her, and she felt good about it. So rest assured knowing that when this lady, on her last few days, she was happy because she knew her kids took care of her and that we love her and we'll miss her. So thank you for loving her and coming here and honoring her because she would just really appreciate that. So thank you. Wait. Sorry, I, one, one thing I can ask, I just, so the last Psalm she was meditating on was Psalm 68 and I wanted to read it for you. I want to read just the last verse for you. I'm going to read it in French for her and Creole for my dad, huh? <laughs> Clear off on my dad in English, just for me, for my understanding, right? <laughs> Psalm 68, verse 36. De ton sanctuaire, ô oh Dieu, tu es redoutable. Le Dieu d'Israël donnait à son peuple la force et la puissance. Bénissons, bon, bénissons, bénissons Dieu. Forgive me on that. And en créole, Bon Dieu chita côté qui a pas pour lia, li fait tout moun respecte l. Bon Dieu pep l'Israël la, la bay pep li a force, a courage. Di bon Dieu merci. And in English, I'm going to end with this, it says, You God are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. Thank you. to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you, mom, surpass them all. This proverb speaks of my mom. As you guys heard, she was the only girl of eight brothers. Stefana Colina Zephyr was tough, strong, and hardworking. She raised all her kids to be tough, strong, and hardworking. But now, less serious. My mom was also a deep thinker, and she was funny. I remember one day when we first came to the United States, we were just come. None of us spoke English. We're learning English. I remember one day, Kama came home from school. He said, Mommy, I'm de l'école, huh? And I was with this, talking to this kid. And this kid told me, hey, shut up. 
And I didn't know what to say to him. Mommy, what, what does that mean? Mommy looked at Kama. She said, Rikama, Lole call. See you, Mundu, shut up. God didn't know, Shirley, you didn't know you, shut up. And what she was actually teaching us over and over and over again was never to allow someone to diminish the value of your character. Mommy taught us there was nothing in this world that someone else can do that any of her children could not do if we didn't apply ourselves and work hard. So she instilled work ethic in all of us. I may not have had perfect relationships with all my brothers and sisters, but I'll tell you right now, there's nobody from Kama to Steph to Josh out of my family that I know works harder for theirs. Because of mom. Mommy was someone who was genuine. A Creole a little authentic. My mom would never have a problem with you and you not know it. She would tell you to your face, never to your back. If you were good with her, you know she didn't have a problem with you. If there was an issue, you didn't have to worry about it. Stephen and I, Colina as if it would come to you and like Jew keep problem again. And because of that, Mommy never held grudges. I'm forgiving. But I have limits. I've watched my mom go through the worst situations with people, with friends, and family. And though my mom was slapped on one side, smacked on the other side, she still found a way to build a relationship and forgive. That's a lesson I take with me. That made her special. She was very reserved in public. Oh, but Madame Sapale on Pilakai. In public, my mom was un dame classique. It's really. She was un classique. Wobbly bien long. Ou pas ouais, ou pas je me bout de tape here. Never. One fois, mommy, mommy, she went to work out in the gym. She had a long dress on. She was on the treadmill walking. Boy, that to it. Mama, bab, oh, mommy will teach you how to walk. Boy, that. Lick a bag in the air, but oh well. Palion Pilakai. But there was nothing, though she talked a lot, there was nothing that she ever said that was not constructive. Même s'il était du monde, mon bouche sans y aller bosser dedans, but it was constructive. One last thing. I remember one day my sister stayed out really late. Oh, it was wonderful, cause all my life she got me beat. See, she's still laughing. And she came in late. She tried to sneak into the back door. I'm downstairs watching TV. I get up. I start dancing. No music. Stephanie, pas jouer une bâton. Yes. Steph creeped in. Mommy's sitting on the stairs. I turn and I watch Steph open the door. Oh, mommy, pas fafan. Lele soufafan. Lele soufafan. Lele soufafan. But there was a statement my mom ended with that was so powerful. Il tu pas jean. No la view des hommes. Entre nos cas, ça laisse ça dash period. <laughs> My mom invented that word. When I came home from school with bad grades, she said, Never in your life will you bring home these grades again, dash period. And what I learned that dash period meant 
never again. If you thought about it, dash papa, say the leap, period, never. I remember when my dad was preaching one time. And he was telling this story as he preached. That there was this pastor's wife he appreciated that was sitting down while the pastor was preaching and the wife was taking notes. And my dad told this story and said, see, my wife needs to take an example when I'm preaching to take notes when I'm preaching. Stefana Colline Zephi Fashi. But mommy son dam classic, li pare le sou paste an an l'église nan. But le nou yve na machine nan. Oh, mommy, bye, monsieur. Désormais, Roland, ou pa ap jam an ba asem l'église nan anko, dash. My final words to my mother is this. I called her Tigamun for all of you who know me. Tigamun, you work hard all your life and never had time for yourself. No vacations, no time off from work. Now rest. Rest knowing you did well. Rest fully in the rewards of your labor. Take rest. Rest in the joys of your faith. Rest in the peace of your salvation. Rest in the timelessness of God's glory. Oh, mommy, take rest. Rest under the shade of the Almighty. Rest in the arms of your Savior. Rest in the depths of Jesus' love. Yes, mommy, time to rest. Rest from your worries. Rest from your sadness. Rest from your toil. Now it's your time to rest. Rest, no more work. Rest, no more pain. Rest, no more suffering. Rest, no more loneliness. Just rest, dash, period. Le triste de sang va y qu'aime Les entrailles moi A déchiré en dents Dans la solitude Moi chute à nos silences Moi m'tant de voir What can I dance on you? Say you're doing something. <laughs> you look pretty. <laughs> 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 
disrespectful. I'm disrespectful. Look at them toes. Toes. I'm not talking to you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Misericord. Take your power come to Zo. Take a picture with me. Power come. <laughs> she is pretty. Baby, she's my first love. You're Pull on my first photo. Mommy. I'm back for that. Show me the photo. You say. Go here. It's Google. 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 About by men to two people. How they call that again? I don't know. When 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 people when like you know if you send picture to, to somebody or then they call that. What? Look at that. Okay. I don't know. I know, but there is a system. People send 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 picture sometimes. Uh, uh, Messaging. Some sometimes uh, people uh, uh, get involved and married with people to in, internet. You talking about a dating website? Yeah, I'm talking about the internet. This is something like that. I don't know who that is. I don't know that person. <laughs> I don't People know. People who, who, who are looking for a man. To get... <laughs> <laughs> and then to get me. Okay. Yeah. Grandma, mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Se 
We are going to excuse the next part of the program, the family and friends, and we're just going to have um, Brother Saduak come in, in one to two minutes to say a few words on behalf of the rest of the family who are not able to speak today. But we have to be mindful of the time. So thank you so much. Chers frères et sœurs, chers amis, que la paix et la grâce de Dieu soient avec vous tous. Amen. Um, moi, c'est Sadrak. Tout le monde dans la famille, on connaît non ça. Même si on n'a pas de visage là, depuis que je dis Sadrak, tout le monde connaît qui monde. J'ai vécu une partie de ma petite enfance avec ma marraine, Stéphana Zephyr, dans le Bénin, quand j'ai commencé le ministère. Je um, suis grandi, tout petit. Ensemble avec trois petits qui ont fait bien, qui sont Kabi, Kama, Tiro. Pas moi qui est Tiro. Et ne sont pas considérés comme si ils ne sont pas en considération plus que l'autre. Dans le passé, ils ont c'est comme s'ils étaient considérés comme quatre petites. Et ils ont toujours dit toujours dit petites liées par la guerre Sadrak. Ils ont toujours dit que Sadrak a eu contact avec Timoun. Et j'ai été dit que c'était une dame qui était très tough. Elle a répondu au téléphone, il a toujours eu bon conseil. Il parlait avec moi, toujours eu dit. Et la première fois, elle m'a reconnaître, elle m'a dit ici avec madame. Elle est rentrée dans la chambre pour parler avec nous, pour nous conseiller, tout le bagage, comment nous vivre ensemble, et puis prier avec nous avant de nous aller dormir. Moi, je suis bien content, je dis merci avec toute la famille, avec particulièrement Tiro. Alors, c'est Jacques qui dit Tiro. Et je dis merci avec Tiroro, avec Aquilas, qui toujours qu'un bien informé, nous toujours qu'un bien contact dans le téléphone. Je dis merci. Et je crois que je suis assuré certain. Ma reine qui couche là, elle n'est pas mourir, elle change d'adresse. Et quand même, je vous garantis, si vous suivez trace, ça vous dit, vous avez pris l'oeil. Vous n'avez pas besoin de poser pour qui ça. Bon Dieu, pour qui ça, vous avez pris l'oeil. Et nous sommes assuré certain, nous avons une chance pour nous. Aller. Je suis tout en um, sympathie mission évangélique Baptiste et Bénézère de Jacques Mel à la famille hein, que le directeur mission a demandé pour me faire ça à la famille hein, parce que par exemple, le pasteur Roland avec madame, 
C'est bien, ils ont commencé le ministère, après ça, ils travaillent dans Marigot, ils travaillent dans Paroisse Kay Jacques Mel, et là, ils ont tourné quitté ici dans l'intention de faire une retraite sur Haïti, ils ont tourné à travailler dans la mission. Non seulement la mission a remercié, ils ont pour ça, ils ont fait. Dans le travail qu'ils ont fait dans la mission, le directeur de la mission, le pasteur d'Alé, le secteur, il est chargé pour me porter sympathie dans la mission à la famille Zéphi. Merci en pile, famille Zéphi, et nous toujours été en contact. Et nous espérons un jour, nous allons rencontrer avec Stéphane Azéphir dans la gloire que mon Dieu bénisse. And now, without um, wasting any time, we thank you for your patience. We are not going to rush today, Sir Azéphir's uh, final day or final homegoing day. We're celebrating her life. So let us give our undivided attention to Pastor Dr. Billy Bofis, who will bring the word today for your consolation. Thank you and comfort. Thank you. May the peace of God be with you. Um, I don't know about you, but I've heard several short sermons since I've been sitting here. And I think the wisest thing for me to do is to cut down my sermon and, took, and take away two-thirds of it. Let the church say, come on now, you, you know you don't want me to be long. <laughs> and as um, uh, Brother Kama and uh, Steph and Josh and uh, Pastor Akilas was talking, and I was watching actually a movie. I just couldn't. Uh, give it to the guys back there to project for you. But the movie I was watching was Sir in Heaven. I saw her just giving high five to Isaac and going around and say, Is that you, Moses? Moïse, you même petit jeune palais de où? Ou est-ce que c'est qui rencontre Jacob? Jacob, mais on est sur où même? And then, l'éternel qui a dit, Sir Zephi, Well, comme moi, petit, tout y a pris en bas, ou voulez me voir le fond semaine avec vous? Et ensuite, je fais dire, papi, bagaille ça, on dit là, pas j'aime dire bagaille comme ça, on attendait, dash! I mean, she's having a great time. You see, the thing about when friends and family come together, the tendency is to say, goodbye to someone we love because we're not going to be able to, to hug them, to tell them we love them, and all the wonderful things we do. But when a child of God transitions, it's a different ball game. We're not here to cry. We're going to miss her, but we're here to celebrate her life because she accomplished her purpose here on earth. And God don't care if you're 50, 40, or 73. When that time comes after you've done the work he gave you, then now you got to come home. And so we are pleased and happy that our sister is in the presence of God. And there's one verse that I want to share with you that's in 1 uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 15. It goes like this. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sure you've heard that human's greatest enemy has always been death. I agree with that partly because death is good. I know I'm messing with your mind right now, right? But let me explain. <laughs> Everything God create is good. And the fact that God created death, not the devil, Death is good. Do you know that 
the two greatest gifts that God gives human after Adam and Eve sin. Number one was the gift of life before the fall. And number two, the gift of death through Christ to give humans life again. So, death may be really the enemy of man, but that only if is that human is not born again. We all have to die. Physically. Why? Because of Adam and Eve. All of us were in Adam. So if it was you, you would have sinned too. Because you have the capacity to choose. And death has a way to appear to be victorious. You know, the first family, Adam, after God said, the day you rebel against me, the day you disobey, you shall surely die because death is there to accomplish God's perfect justice. That is why the wages of sin is and since the first family we've seen what death has been doing. The firstborn Cain killed his younger brother. Noah escaped the flood but he still died. So it's still like death is victorious. And we have Jacob who fought with God but yet still died. Even though he has a nation named after him. Death appeared to be victorious. The world has known a lot of great and powerful men and women. Cleopatra, uh, the great Alexander. You have uh, uh, Augustus. Uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar and, and all the pharaohs, all of them were powerful, but they're all dead. It's almost like death is winning. Up until the year 2 or 3 BC, when God became man, who? there it is, Christ was born. Emmanuel came and was with us. And Jesus was able to do what no other human could do, which is solve the problem of humanity, which was the problem of sin and death. Because when you sin, you must die. And if you die, you're going to spend an eternity away from the presence of God. And Jesus came and solved both problems once. That is why... When we look at John 1, verse 13, to, uh, 11, 12, and 13, it says, He, Jesus, came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of blood, nor of the desire or will of men, but Born of God. So Jesus, the author of life, had taken care of the problem of death. So therefore, any human who is in Christ, who believe in Christ, now you have the power over death and sin. Give God some praise up in here. Come on now. Even though... Even though physically you may die, but the Bible call it a quick and brief separation. Because soon and very soon, Sister Zephyr and her husband, they are going to rise up. And then for those of us who are still alive, we'll caught up and meet with Christ in heaven. So, par conséquent, pour chrétien pour si là, qui baille la vie la Christ là, L'homme n'a pas de pouvoir sur lui, et le péché n'a pas de pouvoir sur lui-même. Et c'est la raison ça qui fait que les chrétiens évangéliques, nous avons besoin de comprendre chaque jour que nous vivons sur terre, mais que nous vivons sur ça avec tout maximum. Uh, one of the children said earlier, uh, I think Brother Kama said that, for those of you who have mother and father, you're wasting your time being upset. Gone like weeks and not even calling to check on them. Shame on you. Because death comes 
quickly and uninvited. So when we waste our time, well, let me just do this real quick because I'm only going to be a few more minutes. Husband and wife, cut it out. Spending weeks and months and not talking to each other and being upset and all the other nonsense, you're wasting time that you do not have. Brothers and sisters, family members, church members, the idea of just fighting and just spending days and weeks and just not talking to each other, that's the deed of the devil because the devil is using all these things to just make you waste your time. And then when the person die, you're going to come and just cry. Enjoy the company of your children, of your husband, of your wife, of your family members. Because death comes uninvited. And the problem is, death don't care who you are. Because death does not procrastinate. Nor have any prejudice. You white. You black, you yellow, you pink, you old, you young, you healthy, and then you sick, it don't matter. When that time comes, the time that God has wrote down in design to say, you will live these many years, these many months and days and hours when that time comes, Death will do God's will, which is the wages of sin is death. It's not just now spiritual death. We are alive in Christ, but physically we have to die. Did you know that most people don't spend much time preparing their eternity? Most people plan for tomorrow, for the day after, for the week after, for the month after, and years after. Never think that. One day, you're going to die. But I have good news for you today. God wants me to tell you, you need to start preparing your eternity. Live every single day like your last because it may be your last. With that said, Jesus has a message for you too. What he's telling you is, have you confessed him publicly? Do you put your trust in him? Because if you don't, you will spend that eternity away from the presence of God. There is no demilitary zone. There is no such a thing as there's no hell or heaven. There is no such a thing as we are all Regardless of the paths that we take, it will lead us to God. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Because Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I and only I can give life. And Romans 10, 9, the si tu confesses de ta bouche le Seigneur Jésus et si tu crois dans ton cœur que Dieu l'a ressuscité des morts, tu seras sauvé. So salvation comes to only one person and that person is Jesus. If you have not confessed Jesus, I want to tell you that he is not just a memory like the others. We are not serving a dead Jew. We are serving a living Savior. You need Jesus, not Buddha. You need Jesus, not Muhammad. You need Jesus, not Confucius. You need Jesus, not Guru Nanak. You need Jesus to go to heaven and have eternal life. With that said, if you need Jesus and Jesus is the only way, Jesus is saying to you that today is the day that you need to make peace with him. Since tomorrow is not promised, since today is the day that you see, if you hear the calling of the Holy Spirit, we don't know, but the Holy Spirit knows. All we have to do 
is make the call. If today you know for sure that if you die, which will happen, we don't know when. And you will not be in the presence of God. If you are a family member or a friend who have not given your life to Christ like she did, you will not see her. You will not see Jesus. He's the call. Everybody, please close your eyes. There's at least one soul in here that has not confessed Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you are here today and you know for sure that if you die, you will not transition into the presence of God, I want you to raise your hand and you can remain seated where you are. We have many pastors. We will send one to you to introduce you into the kingdom of God. If you have not confessed Christ publicly, if you have never asked Jesus to forgive your sin and save you, today is the day. Let's pray for the family. Dear God, we come before you and thank you for who you are. Thank you for eternal life we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the family, though daddy and mommy already in your presence. We pray that the pastor Ziphil and sister Ziphil's children will not just know you, but serve you every single day of their lives. And that their grandchildren and great-grandchildren will serve God. So one day, they all can come together. And spend eternity in the presence of God where death will no more be. And it only will be life, joy, peace, harmony in the presence of God. May God bless you. Amen. As we um, get ready to close with the final song, we'll only sing the first stanza. Um, we will, uh, the congregation will stand and let the uh, family follow the casket and the funeral home and let them uh, proceed behind uh, the hearse first and then we'll follow. And then after that, they invite you to come back here for a repast in our Roberts Hall. Um, and we want to thank you. The family really wants to thank you for being here and supporting them and for every expression of uh, uh, sympathy and condolences that you've expressed to them. Le remercier nous, famille Zephyr et toute l'autre famille, remercier nous pour présence nous et remercier nous pour le fait que nous t'es déplacé venu et aussi exprimer sympathie nous et exprimer tout tes venons envers eux même. Après service là, n'a pas campé quitter et finir le homme là escorté yo après cercle là et ensuite nous va quitter yo suivre derrière un uh, uh, cortège là cortège funèbre après eux et après et, et entièrement nous va retourner dans la salle Robert euh, cafétéria noir pour nous capable venir au repas fraternel avec eux donc nous remercions nous nous camper pour nous chanter sois sans alarme et sans frayeur dieu prendra soin de toi même Jean te prend soin sur ses filles sur ses filles te prend soin petite Lio qui bien toujours bon dieu prend soin nous be not dismayed god will take care of you God will take care of you. Sois sans alarme, sans frayeur. Dieu prendra soin de toi. Il est ton père et ton sauveur. Dieu prendra soin.
Mais bien aimé dans le Seigneur, que la paix et la grâce de Dieu soient avec vous tous. Et nous profitons du moment ça pour nous présenter nos condoléances les plus sincères à tous les filles, à notre frère Josué et famille, à notre frère Wukama et famille, à notre soeur Stéphane et finalement à notre frère, notre coéquipier, révérend Akila Zephi. Que le Seigneur est capable de bonne force, qu'il est capable de bonne endurance pour capable camper ferme en attendant la glorieuse espérance en Jésus-Christ. Côté nous va rejoindre encore notre sœur Stéphana Zephi. Côté nous va vivre ensemble avec lui pour le temps et pour l'éternité. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Prions le Seigneur. Notre Seigneur, notre Dieu, tu as été pour nous un refuge de génération en génération. Avant que les montagnes fussent nées et où tu eus fondé la terre et le monde, d'éternité en éternité, tu es Dieu. Nous nous remercions parce que Seigneur, nous te capte un moment ça pour nous célébrer notre sœur qui te vive dans mitan nous. Et Seigneur, nous content pour nous ouais, pour nous t'étendre petite Lio qui t'a parlé. Seigneur, travail que il t'a fait dans la vie. Père d'amour, nous nous merci pour ça. Na bande autant prie dans moment ça. Ou va répandre grâce ou consolation dans la vie. Père, yo témoigné que travail la fait déjà. Yo témoigné que maman yo pas quitter la terre sans que travail ça a pas fait dans la vie. Et Seigneur, c'est à yo même connier à pour yo capable carry out travail ça. Nan mi tan petit petit yo. Et on va toujours faire songer que grand yo, c'est ça qui te quitte pour yo même. Père d'amour, mes familles, ça, puisque le Saint-Esprit est le consolateur, nous demandons pour consoler yo, pendant que yo même, il a fixé les yeux vers vous même. Mais yo devant. Merci pour notre soeur qui te vive dans mi temps. Nous. Nous, sommes, nous sommes témoins. La vie qu'il te vive dans mes temps. Nous. Et de nous, Père, pour nous capables de suivre, trace, ça a été quitté dans mes temps. Nous. Et aussi, petit lit qui est dans mes temps. Nous. Seigneur, qui a prêché par Et qui a fait travail ça, ça montre que le travail n'est pas en vain. Nous levons bien aimés frères, nous devant vous. Oui, comme Seigneur, nous connaissons à créer une source de consolation pour côté de Afin que, Seigneur, les songe maman, non seulement lui même l'autre, il va tomber, la l'école, dans une source de consolation ça, pour le connaître, maman. Non bonne main, maman, non bonne main. Belle femme ça, yo t'a montré sous tableau. Les plus belles encore dans les bras de Jésus. Et maintenant, Seigneur, c'est prière que nous faisons monter devant vous. Et nous laguons tout le service là devant vous. D'ici, Seigneur, à cimetière là. Et que tout est capable de faire pour vous-même. Et pour la gloire de ton Saint-Nom. Ces prières que nous faisons monter devant nous, au nom de Jésus. Alléluia. Recevons la bénédiction. Que le Dieu de paix qui a ramené d'entre les morts, le grand pasteur des prébis par le sang d'une alliance éternelle, notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, nous rende capables de toute bonne œuvre. 
pour l'accomplissement de sa volonté. Et fasse en nous ce qui lui est agréable par Jésus-Christ. À lui soit la gloire au siècle et des siècles. Amen. Les entrailles moi à déchirer en dame Dans la solitude Moi chit à nos silences Moi m'tant de voir Cap dit moi prend courage Ou lever moi Retire ma poussière, ou fais mourir, côté pas t'espérer. Avec où? Ah, y est pas impossible. Levez-moi, cachez-moi, non. Ou levez-moi, retirez. Ou faites-moi rêver, côté pas t'espérer. Avec vous, on n'y est pas impossible. Vous levez-moi, cachez-moi dans vous. Vous levez-nous, retirez-nous dans la poussière. Vous faites nous rêver, côté de vous. Nous pas tapes jamais rivé, mais nous connais avec oh, on y est pas impossible. Où c'est bon Dieu? Où c'est bon Dieu? Où c'est bon Dieu? Où c'est bon Dieu, c'est où même qui règne. C'est où même qui ouvre moi. Où qui contre la vie. Où est toujours là où c'est bon Dieu. Moi dis où merci parce que c'est bon Dieu. Où c'est Alpha, c'est Omega. 